Self-employed people don't get the hourly wage like those in PAYE. If you work in an office, you'll be earning the equivalent of an hourly rate for the hours you are contracted to do. This doesn't happen when you are self-employed. The figure is arbitrary, often dictated by your final price tag, or in the case of gig economy workers, by how many jobs that can be done in a specific time period. And let's not forget their expenses, of course. As a self-employed person who makes things, I can assure you that I do not get an hourly rate. If I charged an hourly rate for my jewellery or bag charm creations, each one would be about £40, and that's without the added use of household utilities or the purchase of materials to complete the item. Recently I read an article about a creator on TikTok who is advertising a miniature purse for $270. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot for what it is, but if you consider her hourly rate, the cost of the materials, the amount of work she put into it, and the admin that goes into preparing a listing for e-commerce, that's probably about right, but would you pay for it? The problem is, we have completely lost touch with how things are made, and this has happened because brands started using very cheap labour abroad to make goods, where people are paid almost nothing for long hard hours and live in abject poverty, all conditions we would never allow in the UK. The race to the bottom has been going on for years. It's been prevalent in fast fashion, pound stores, discount retailers and now in supermarkets where you can now even get a Saver brand tin of baked beans for 25p, even in a cost of living crisis. Do you know how that tin of beans is made? And if you do, can you comprehend how it can be sold for just 25p?